Hi guys, I'm Phil Snow, the Fat Loss and Performance Coach here at Meta Evolution Gym in Chatham. Welcome along to today's video based on setting up your MyFitnessPal. Now MyFitnessPal is a fantastic tool, okay? Very good application that you can download for free off uh, Apple or Android or whatever else there is out there, I don't know. So basically the idea behind the MyFitnessPal is that it's holding you accountable for recording your food intake throughout the day, which will help you review how many calories you're eating or uh, particularly how much bad food you may be eating that you didn't realise before, so that the next day you can work on that and take that bad crap out of, uh, of your diet and ultimately help you see results, wherever that may be. So setting up the MyFitnessPal does take a little bit of effort. Sometimes it does set it up automatically for you. Um, you. You have to be realistic about the goals that you want to achieve on a weekly basis, i.e. Like around a sort of kilo or so when you enter your information in there. But we use a slightly different algorithm here in the studio to what that sets up for you automatically. So I'm just going to kind of go through some of our uh, algorithms or our stats, if you like, to kind of help you out set your my fitness power. Okay. So what we use is this calculation here: your weight in kilos times that by 2.2 i.e. pounds, and then we ex uh, times that by the exercise range, and that will give us our daily calorie allowance, if you like. So we're talking about allowance. So we're not specifically saying right, you have to hit this target, but the example that we're using today is for for weight loss. Okay, so this is a very basic weight loss strategy to set up on your MyFitnessPal. That is what I want to emphasise here. So if you are doing minimal exercise, a not exercising, maybe just daily activity, walking to and from work or what have you, what you would then do is take your weight times that by 2.2 and then you would times that between this number, either a 10 or 12, or between 10 and 12. So you could times it by 11 as well. So that would give you your ultimate calorie intake for the day. So as you can see then, I've put down my weight here around sort of 90 kilos, I've times that by 2.2, that gives me 198. Which ultimately, if I wasn't really exercising, imagine that I didn't exercise in a world I don't know that doesn't exist, okay? I would only be doing uh, about 1980 calories as it is on a daily basis, okay? Obviously, if I was increasing my exercise and I'd kind of train up here around sort of seven or more times a week, then I would obviously need to times this number between 14 and 16. So you'd probably end up with something like 4,000 odd calories, okay? So this is very handy, it's very useful, we'll kind of have a look here, so for minimal weight size, you want to times this uh, number here by 10 point, uh, between 10 and 12. If you're doing moderate activity, we'll say between 3 and 4 times a week, then maybe between 12 and 14. And obviously if you're hitting the gym, um, and we're talking about vigorous exercise here, okay, stuff that gets you hot and sweaty and out of breath, we want to times that by around 14 to 16. Okay, and that will give you your total calorie requirement for the day. Now, as I said before, you don't have to smash that target, all right? Because ultimately, we are looking to create uh, a calorie deficit if we're looking for weight loss. So if you're over consuming calories because you're finding that you're not losing weight considering you're training, I don't know, say for instance, seven days a week, then we probably need to look at reducing the calories further, okay? So it's a guideline, you guys, it's a guideline. So this is all very useful and handy, but then we will give you the option of sorting out your macronutrient ratios, okay? Or your macros. <laughs> so um, depending on what type of shape you are, um, what we refer to here as your metabolic shape, okay? Whether you're a more circle shape, more triangular shape, or naturally a more rectangular shape, will depend on those macronutrient uh, ratios, okay? So just kind of be wary of those, just because it sets it up automatically, it isn't like, gospel, all right, you don't have to follow it to the T, you don't have to stick to your calories number by number, we don't emphasize that whatsoever. Obviously, you do need to report, uh, reduce your portion sizes, you do need to consider the TQT, the type, quality, and timing of your calories, okay? So, just a quick little run through, the, we just want to say that the, the MyFitnessPal is a great tool, but it's even better if you know someone's looking over your shoulder and following you. Otherwise, you're just writing it down for no reason, okay? You're not holding yourself truly accountable unless someone else is checking up for you. And do you know what? I know a great bunch of people who could help you out with that. Keep it real, guys. See you soon.